there's a new detection technique for prostate cancer. What is it? Dr. Jay Raman with Penn State Health is here with the answer. Before we talk about the new technique, let's talk about prostate cancer. Is it true that the cases are on the rise? So prostate cancer is very common. In 2018, it's estimated there'll be over 160,000 new cases diagnosed and 30,000 men will die of prostate cancer. So it's the most common cancer in men, second most can leading cause of cancer-related death. What we've seen since 2012 is actually a decrease in the rates of prostate cancer incidence. Oh. However, what we're seeing paradoxically is an increase, unfortunately, in aggressive prostate cancer and prostate cancer that has spread. Oh, goodness. So up until this point, how has prostate cancer primarily been detected? What have been the limitations with that? So prostate cancer screening typically involves a blood test, PSA, as well as a rectal examination to feel the prostate. But neither of these are diagnostic for cancer. And to establish a diagnosis, we need to do a biopsy. Biopsies are typically dull with ultrasound guidance. Mm -hmm. Ultrasound is like a GPS. We can visualize the prostate. We can take biopsies from certain pre-prescribed areas or zones. The limitation of ultrasound biopsy, however, is we can't see specific focal areas, areas of suspicion, and therefore there's a certain inaccuracy, a certain risk of misdiagnosis. Oh, that must be frustrating for you as a doctor. And for the patients even more. For sure. So now there's this new procedure that you say no one else is offering locally. It's MRI uh, guided fusion prostate biopsy. What does that mean? That's right. So we just talked about ultrasound. We talked about the limitations. And MRI gives us some superior visualization and delineation of the prostate. So what we do on these patients that are considering a biopsy or are going to undergo a biopsy is we obtain an MRI, we look with our radiologists for specific areas in the prostate that are concerning or suspicious, and then at the time of the biopsy, we take that MRI picture and overlay it or fuse it onto hmm. the ultrasound. Hmm. So what this allows us to do is biopsy those high-risk areas with the limited amount or decreasing the amount of error that can occur. Are you excited about this? What have the results been? Yeah, so they're really promising. There, there's two large studies that have been published that show that MRI-guided fusion biopsy compared to conventional decreases the risk of errors in diagnosis. And our own experience is, is that it's more accurate in making a prostate cancer diagnosis. And more importantly, it allows us to find the significant cancers in the patients that need the treatment. To me, I'm hearing that um, patients here in our area and beyond should be really encouraged about this. How can we learn more information? So we're more than happy to take self-referrals from patients and only for any providers that want to refer a patient for this particular procedure or service, simply they can call 717-531-8887 or 717-531-5718 and we'll certainly be able to get them set up for an MRI guided fusion biopsy or at least a discussion about that procedure. It is terrific. So much encouraging research and so many developments going on with Penn State Health. We appreciate you being such well, a you know, you. positive supporter of Goods APA here on the show too. Thanks, Dr. Raman. And thank you everybody for watching. Enjoy the weekend and make it a good day, PA.